We start tonight with the latest executive briefcase accessory and a tiny chip shop in a converted barn on the edge of the fens. The former, launched last week, is the £650 Apple Newton, a pocket-sized electronic notebook on which you write rather than type. The latter, the company that made it work and now hoping to become a multi-million pound household name. The Newton is the first volume product to use microprocessors developed by Advanced Risk Machines at Swaffham Bulbeck near Cambridge. Set up just three years ago by computer manufacturers Apple and Acorn, ARM's 46-strong research team has already perfected microchips for the consumer electronics sector that are a quarter of the size, require 85% of the power and cost ten times less than their rivals. With such chips increasingly used in everything from toasters to multimedia home entertainment systems, the hope now is that launch of the Newton will give ARM an unassailable world lead in a market so vast it's barely quantifiable. In terms of these sort of products, the Newton is a portable product. Um, another application for ARM is in banking cards, which you know everybody has several credit cards right now. So in terms of market size, we're looking at the population of the world, and the population of the world could be using several ARM chips in his car, in his home electronics equipment, in his banking card or whatever. So the market opportunity for us is absolutely huge. Not surprisingly, it's a market ARM is anxious to protect. While more than 100 companies have applied, only four manufacturing licenses have so far been granted to VLSI, GEC Plessy, Sharp and Texas Instruments. TI, the world's sixth biggest semiconductor business, will be concentrating arms technology on the car industry, which last year accounted for 33 million vehicles, each one containing on average 20 microchips. Meanwhile, determined to be more than just a bit player under the bonnet or anywhere else, Saxby is seeing to it that all arm-powered products now carry the company's logo. Part of our vision when we set up this company was that arm chips would be used by everybody in the world. For that to happen, we need to become a household name, like, for example, Dolby. So we've started this arm-powered uh, campaign behind me, which is our con consumer awareness symbol. And so the key thing, I guess, looking five years hence, I'd like a large percentage of the world to have uh, heard of arm. I think if that's happened, most of the other things will fall into place. We'll be a big company, we'll be trading very profitably, we'll have offices around the world. The immediate priority, though, is a bigger headquarters. Not only for the staff, but also for the champagne empties each one representing a landmark in the company's short history. There are 18 bottles so far, and nobody at ARM expects the collection to stop at that. Meanwhile, from the unlikely setting of an old English barn, has emerged the driving force behind a bigger threat to the Japanese manufacturers. It's a new British computer chip with transistors one millionth of a meter long. This red line shows one of them, 